Good morning, friends. Uh, actually, I just hopped out of bed due to this video. I was laying there. Things is going through my mind. I'm not going to teach anything. I'm just going to talk to you and give you a couple of scriptures. I've done a video on spiritual witchcraft. And a couple of videos along that line. I also did one on uh, Christian psychology. It's not of God. I mentioned positive thinking in there. But uh, I want to say a couple more things about this positive thinking because it is spiritual witchcraft. And let me explain a couple of things on it. Uh, where do I want to start? How many of you ever heard a pastor say, or, you know, if you go to work and you're having a bad day, and somebody say to you, you know, say something to you, just give them a smile and tell them you're for the joy of the Lord. Think positive. That's outright lie. That's outright lie. If I go to work and I'm having a bad day, I let them know about it. Stay out of my face. Keep away. I'm having a bad hair day. You know, why, why lie about it? Why pretend to be something you're not? I have heard teachings where, in the, where it's just in the Bible, the Lord says, love, love your neighbor as yourself, that we're supposed to love ourselves. That ain't what Jesus was pointing out. A closer look all through the Bible, when Jesus said things along that line, he was showing us that man already loves himself too much. And that is very true. We could love our neighbor as half as much as we love ourselves. Just think what kind of world we could live in. I'm going to give you an example of my personal life and how it should work. Because of just simply being who you are through the cross. Not positive thinking in you. You trying to alter your mind instead of simply having faith in the cross. Big difference. And 99.9% .9 is what is being taught. It's a simply greasy slope. It's all about you and what you do in ordering one's mind. You might as well become a Hindu. There ain't much difference. Use my life for example and how it should work. And I, it's, I think it's a good example. I came down with nothing major. It was... Uh, what do you call that? Low blood count. There's, there's, I'm not thinking just getting up here in the middle of almost one o'clock in the morning but a anemic or something along that line if we got low blood count and some reason it really affects me you know so I have to keep that underneath control no big deal you know next thing I knew I was getting glaucoma had that for a while and for some reason that's really rapidly being progressive where I'm just about blind in this side well, I'm in the cam this side and this eye just almost as bad it, you know I won't go into detail on that then I was like well, I had my two you know, that's, that's enough then I came down what well, was cancer like most men, we won't go to the hospital, so I wait till the last minute, and it was in my bone, bone marrow, it's all through my body, and the doctor was only give me three days to live. Of course, God healed me, and I think I gave a testimony on a video on that. I don't know if I went into detail or not. And, I'm sorry, okay, I had my three. Yeah, it comes in three, so that should be up. Then this past year, I had shingles in the ear, which they ain't sure if it went to the brain it caused they, anyways I just keep it simple and facts that 
when the shingles in the ear it caused the bowel palsy you can see me a little better but I really have a lot of problems and it seems like to be one thing after another after another after another and I ain't even going to get into other things I'm just sitting under major things and people look at me and says well you know you keep a positive attitude you never seem to be down and out this has got nothing to do with that it just I keep my focus upon the cross and keep my focus on, on the cross it's just simply who I am and being in Christ I don't I don't think about these these problems I don't sit there and meditate about them or try to alter my mind and my thinking about them it's just I am who I am because of who I am and being in Christ with my focus upon the cross and this ain't my heavenly home I have a joy and a peace and, I, and I'm at content because I know that I know that I know I got something far better to look forward to and it took me many years to learn what I'm about ready to tell you and it's this if I was always on cloud 10 and walking with the Lord I'd be no good to nobody I would have no spiritual growth <laughs> no experience but it's when God allows God don't brings it but God allows it trials and tribulations to come into your life what does it do for you does it not teach you to have a greater dependence upon God and not only that it allows you to see you for you don't it errors in your life where you think you might be so spiritually strong let God put you through the fire a few times and it's going to allow you to see you in areas in your life where you think you might be strong where you need to have spiritual growth at but God chastises those that he loves because he wants you to grow he wants you to grow spiritually it's in the valleys that teaches me to have a dependence upon God it's in the valleys that allows me to see me in areas in my life where I need to have spiritual growth anybody can claim to have faith and strong faith it's like a soldier going to war he can brag in boot camp all the things he's going to do but when he's out in the field and hearing little fluttering sounds going by in his ears he might be the first one to run to the fox so you really don't really know what you're made of until you're tested and this what bears character and strength that, that God wants you to have in your life and, and I've been through not only things I've mentioned to you but a lot more but it's, it made me into what I am today you know and that's what I don't like to use that term, terminology positive thinking but if there even be such a terminology in Christianity I just gave it to you properly because it's keeping your focus upon the cross and who you are in Christ it's not about you ordering your mind and trying to do something or thinking a certain way or forcing yourself in a lie to believe I'm happy today <laughs> I'm happy today when you're not that's, that's all a form of witchcraft you, people that does that you might as well be back underneath the bondage of the law because all you, you're doing the same thing is all the outward works of the flesh putting out an outward act an outward show but in the heart there's really never no really change taking place is there it's all about you and what you doing and trying to alter your mind instead of having a proper faith in Christ and the cross and it's the proper faith in the cross that will open up the spiritual door to allow the Holy Spirit into your life and oh boy here comes the act two you gotta do you gotta allow it to have the preeminence in your life and once you do that it's going to change your attitude your motives your focus 
your desires and your passions in your life as this brings conviction, 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 conviction in your life as it's conforming you and molding you into the image of Christ. That That is correct biblical teaching. But the teaching of this positive thinking is a form of witchcraft where okay, I'm in a bad mood today, I, I, I'm going to think positive. And things along those, most of you know what I'm talking about. Most of you have heard this type of stuff on, on television or, or in your churches. And I don't know, it was, maybe it was Norman Vincent Peale that, that I got this positive thinking started and this Christian psychology that's in the churches today. It's, it's not of God. And let me give you another example. And I've done a video on this. I'm, I'm only going to briefly hit on it. If there's something wrong in your marriage, your pastor don't need to come to you and give you biblical Christian psychology. He need to come to you and point your finger. It's just either one or both of you are not in a right relationship with God and sin lies at the door. That's the root of the problem. And uh, I've done visual psychology and I hit on all these things. And positive thinking, if you think I'm wrong, write me, give me all your scriptures, scriptures, and I give them back to you in the proper context. Because the Bible don't teach positive thinking and what people are teaching today and taking verses out of, out, out of their proper context to what it's talking about. Because it's in when you're in Christ and you're in a right relationship with Christ, it opens up a spiritual door. You heard me say this so many times in other videos. When it opens a spiritual door that you need to yield to the operation of the Holy Spirit. And most people don't do that because it brings conviction, conviction in your life. You know, and I already said this as it's more you conform you to the image of Christ and changing your motives, your focus, your desires and your passions in your life and, and that's what's going to bring about a Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 finally brother what sort of things are true what sort of things are honest what sort of things are just what sort of things are pure what sort of things are lovely what sort of things are good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. But you say these things are only possible, providing we have our focus upon Christ and Him crucified, and walking that new man out in our life, and allowing the Holy Spirit to have the preeminence in our life, who is working and moving our life, to bring about that change. Where, and I. I'm not bragging, I'm just using myself for example of all the things I have went through, just talking about fiscally alone. And people, you know, they, they, they are amazed and I'm kind of stunned because I'm not even aware of it myself. It's like one time I had a flat side of the road and you know, just out of a half, I didn't even realize it. I was saying, oh, praise God, I pulled it. And, the person on the phone says, why are you praising God for a flat tire? Just smiling. I had a place to pull off the side of the road. If it's dark time, there was a truck stop one time. You know, I could get way off the road. Praise God. And well, even realizing that I was praising God in all things and not even realizing I was doing it. And that's how it should work in your life. It's not like you should get a flat time and say, Oh, let me keep a mental good thought here. You know, because I guess what I'm really trying to get to, whenever you have to work upon altering your mind, it's rebounding against God as a form of witchcraft because it's not about what the Holy Spirit is trying to do to change the heart of man. It's about what you try and do in changing your thinking. And that you can't do that upon your own. 
that has to be done of the heart change and of the leading of the Holy Spirit that brings a conviction and the working and moving in your life but it is anything that takes your focus off the cross and put it on what self does is demonic and I will stand by that to the day I die anything that takes your focus off of who you are and being in Christ, when your focus is upon Christ and Him crucified, and put it upon self and what self does, is of a demonic spirit. And that's what positive thinking is, because it's one person, all about you, trying to alternate your mind and how you see things, and how you view things, and how you handle things, and it don't work. And it's not of God, because it's all about self, and it's being a hypocrite. When you go to the job, you're not feeling good, and, and pastors tell you, put on that smile and tell them you're having a great day. You're a liar. You're, you're, you're lying. See, because you're trying to make it all about what you're trying to do. But where's the inner change to where you can have a joy and a peace and be content in all circumstances? Because <laughs> when you reach it, you won't even realize you have you, you just be there and other people notice it and I didn't even notice I was that in that state just somebody pointed out to me and I thought about it and said yeah <laughs> and I started giggling you know to him I said yeah you're right you know it, it, it's what I, I, I just praise God in all things it just just not because of what I was trying to do it just became uh, who I was because of, of my relationship in Christ yeah, and I'm not going to name all these preachers and teachers and what they saying and what they preaching, because most of you know them. And I'm not into cutting other people down. I'm just, I'm not here doing videos, coming on here with a clown shoe on and saying, "Boy, can you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit?" You know, I'm not. I don't come on here with a clown suit with a big red nose. Boy, can you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit, people? Honk, honk, and get you to laugh. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to give you the Word of God, the way it is written. And I do videos to help people that seek truth. And I'm a firm believer in one seek truth. If you're really seeking it, God's going to lead it to them. It might not be me, it might be somebody else, and praise God for that, more knowledgeable people than me. God will lead you to truth if you're really seeking it. When a person tried to discourage me with that, I said, Mouse, you got hardly nobody on Pow Talk. And on Pow Talk, uh, there's a room I have on there, though, on, uh, on your videos. Why don't you quit and you know, do this and do that? I says, Because it's not about me, brother. It's not, I call him a brother, he's a brother in the Lord. I says, it's, a, it's about those out there that seek the truth. If I only get one hit, one hit, and every video I ever did, I'm praising God. I'm full of joy. Because it's not about me. If that one person, life has changed, or draws him out of a call, or, or, or away from false teaching, and his life has changed, and he touched another person's life, and that person life he touched might reach thousands of people. See, it's not about me. It's about a domino effect the Holy Spirit would have. I'm just doing my little part. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, it's when you get your focus upon you, you start to look upon crowds, you start to look upon numbers, and when pastors start to do that, they, they start to let sin into the door. They let more slide because now it's all about the numbers. And I have seen that as well. Well, that's another teaching. Look, it's just late at night. I didn't mean to go this long in here. But I'm telling you, people, if you're into positive teaching, you're into a... a a form of witchcraft which is bowing against God because it's all about you and what you can do to alternate your mind instead of having faith in God. It's based, I, I wish I could explain that a little better, but I just don't have that 
vocabulary tonight. And like I said, I'm using my life for example. I have a, I think they're called dynamic or something. You got low blood count. Then, then I had glaucoma, which I'm virtually blind now. Then, then I had uh, cancer. Then I had shingles and air that brought on the bowel palsy. And it's just one thing after, just something else I had in between there, but I can't, my mind's racing tonight, I can't think what it is. But I had been through a lot, but I was unaware of how I was handling it. You know, I was handling it in a positive way, but it's because my focus on Christ was upon the cross, it was on Christ and Him crucified and who I am in Christ where I had allowed the Holy Spirit to have the pre in my life to work in my life to change my attitude, my focus, my desires and my passion and my, you know, it just totally turned my life upside down and guess what He ain't finished with me yet because the closer you get to light, the more his divine x-rays is going to show through you and show you things in your life you need to clean up. And when you get there, he's going to show you more and more. And it's a, it's a, it's a it's called spiritual growth, people, and it's a continuous process. And it will never stop until you become one with the light, which won't happen until he comes back. But, uh, so short, I, there's so much more I want to say. But I don't want to plague your mind or get you confused on, on this because I think most people are intellectually smart enough in what I said tonight to understand what they've been hearing and what I'm saying on this positive thinking. You might as well go be a Buddha and, and, and be a Hindu and trying to alter your mind and what you do because that's basically what it is is altering your mind instead of having proper faith in the message of the cross and recognizing who you are in Christ so I'm just going to keep that simple and leave it there because there's so many other verses like to care but I don't want to get into that now but if you think I'm wrong if you think I'm wrong Give me your scriptures in the Bible that teach us positive thinking. Now you can text me, and I won't use your name. I won't use your, your, your text name. I don't do that. If you've seen other videos where I answer questions, I don't do that. And so I don't embarrass people. So if you think I'm wrong, here I am. Throw your Bible verses at me. And I would do another video on those. If it's short, I would just write you. But if it's used, I want everybody to know it. So I would, more than likely I would do a video on it and leave your name out of it. And I will give you whatever you're saying in the Bible correctly to what it's teaching. Because the Bible does not teach positive thinking. But it does say, deny self daily and take up your cross and follow him. I don't talk about fulfilling self, about what self does, but it's a deny self. So I leave that that, and I hope you people that are into this and listening to it, that God will move upon your heart and allow you to see it for what it really is, and get back into a right relationship in Christ, and allow the Holy Spirit to have a preeminence in your life to change your motives, your focus, your desires, and your passions, and your desires in your life, instead of making it about what you do. And uh, as you watch, if you can follow some of the videos I've done, I think you have a good understanding of what I'm saying tonight. And uh, thank you for the time. And I hope it has been helpful. And once again, if you disagree, give it your best shot. Throw your verses at me where you think the Bible's teaching positive thinking and I'll answer them on you and i answer those questions for you and thank you and I hope this video has been helpful God bless